Hello there. So today I'm very excited because I get to be surprised like it's Christmas because I have many, 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 many art supplies in these boxes and I have no clue what's inside them so I'm very excited. There are a lot of art subscription boxes out there um, and you know you might be wondering which one's the best so don't you worry because I have saved you the- I have saved you the trouble and I have bought every single art subscription box that is out there and I'm gonna open them all up on camera for you to find out hopefully which one is the winner and all of these boxes Scrawler, Scrawler box hates me. These boxes cost me $200 in total, so let's hope there is $200 worth of art supplies in here, because if not, Chloe's not gonna be happy. So today's video is being kindly sponsored by the wonderful people over at Skillshare. Obviously, it's because of them that I'm able to buy expensive stuff like this, so thank you, Skillshare. Um, I know a lot of people talk about Skillshare uh, on YouTube, but I thought that I would do something a bit different and actually recommend you a specific teacher and classes that I think will be really beneficial to you. Um, so there is a teacher on Skillshare called Hardy Fowler and he is an incredible teacher. He has classes on art fundamentals, he has figure painting classes, he has environmental digital portrait classes. Skillshare has over 28,000 classes if none of his classes actually interest you. Um, they have stuff like business, photography, design, illustration, programming, Pretty much anything you can think of is on Skillshare, so I highly recommend it. And it also works out less than $10 a month if you get the annual subscription, but Skillshare has kindly given me a link in the description. You can get all of their classes for free for two months. And trust me, you can learn a lot in two months. So check it out, links in the description, 500 people only. And thank you to Skillshare for offering that to my subscribers. So with these subscription boxes, I got a scroller box, art snacks, sketch box, palette full packs, and last but not least, I got a smart art box. Something that I think is quite important to note is that these three boxes actually all have premium boxes. So you can get like the basic 20, $25 boxes, but you can also pay an extra 10, 15, $20 to get a premium box. So these are actually the premium cost boxes. So I'm gonna compare all of the premium boxes and I'm gonna compare the just the regular boxes too because I, yeah, I think I'm gonna start off opening the sketch box. It's got a nice little llama on the front. So I feel like this stuff was actually very similar to what was in my sketch box when I opened one in like August of last year. Um, they have these kind of pen things. So we have a brush pen in white. We have a brush pen in gray, as you can see. Um, I'm not really a fan of these because they're not art supplies that I tend to use all that much. But they're cool. I like that each box has their own theme every month, which is a good idea in my opinion. Oh, we've got a sticker. Okay, so Sketchbox never used to put in stickers. It was more like art snacks and I think scroller box. Then we have, oh, what are these? Oh, a Zig memory system, brushables, dual tipped brush marker. Oh, okay. Okay, so as you can see, it has like a little brush end each end and in a, in a different color. So that's quite nice. So again, this is the premium box. So this was $35. Okay, so we, okay, we've got another brush pen here. This is just a green by the looks of it. Then we have, oh wow, a really huge pencil. So the last thing is a brush marker pro. Oh, okay. This one feels really nice. I've never heard of this before. It's by Karen. Karen Brush Marker Pro. Uh, it's got a little brush nib, as you can see. Apparently these retail for $14.66, so they're actually more expensive than I thought. I thought they'd be about $5. So in theory, all of this stuff is actually supposed to be worth over $40, which, considering I paid $35, is a good deal. Absolutely a good deal. So again, I'm not really a fan of this type of stuff, but I think it's a really good box for those that do use this kind of thing. Next up, I'm gonna open up my Smart Art box. This cost me around $45, I believe it was. And I've never opened a smart art box before, so I'm very curious to see what they actually offer inside. Because in my opinion, that is a lot of money to spend every single month, and they don't offer like a basic box or anything like that. It's very nicely packaged. That's cool, I like that they've put that on there so you can like draw on it and then potentially get featured. I think that's a really nice idea. It's definitely wrapped up very well. Oh wow, there's a lot of stuff. Oh, I can see like glitter or something. I'm very excited. Before we get started, it's like on your birthday, you've got to open the cards before the gifts. You know, got to read the important stuff. 
Uh, calligraphy writing. Okay, so this is a calligraphy box. Um, but I'm guessing you can use it for like painting and stuff as well. What I think is cool about smart art is that they always have like a specific theme that they go by and they give you a bit of history of each item as well. Um, so we've got some powdered pigments. So that's what these are. So in the smart art box, we have some very exciting things. Uh, we have all of these pigments. So apparently you mix these with the pigments and it makes a... Um, a fluid ink. So basically you are making inks yourselves. It's like a dry powdered ink. So you have this really glittery gold pigment, as you can see. We have like a really pretty like pearlescent purple. We have a blue pigment, which is really pretty. A pink gold color, which is nice. This is kind of like a coppery pink, rust, russet. They're really nice colors. I mean, it's a shame that it's a calligraphy box because I don't do calligraphy, but I definitely think I would try to um, make art with this stuff because you can still do that, I'm sure. They've also given us loads of these plastic containers. I'm guessing it's because it turns to like a liquid form, so you obviously need to pour it into this to mix it. Then we have a calligraphy brush. Then we have, ooh, oh, I feel fancy. It's one of those like ink pens, you know, that's sort of like the metal ones. And last but not least, we've got some little Bristol trading cards. Okay. So it looks like these pigments are about $25 for a set of them, but they have included these little containers here and they've obviously included the brush and this, but I still think it's a really well put together box. Um, and I like the little tip, like little touches. So overall, I think it works out to be almost around $50. And obviously you have to pay that little bit extra to get it all packaged together and get like the surprises, which I don't mind doing. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a good box. I will not complain about it. Okay, so now I'm going to try the $35 palette full packs box. Um, I'm excited for this one because this is the same price as the sketch box where I got all of like these brush marker things in them. Ew. First of all, look at everything that's inside this box. I have multiple inks. I have a full sized mixed media pad. These are at least $10, I want eight, ten dollars $10 I wanna say. Okay, so we have some ink. We have a lot of ink, graphics ink. So as you can see, we have three, six, seven, eight. We've got eight different colors of inks here, which is a really good selection. We have two, oh, I, I actually love these brushes. They're, they're brushes that I personally buy myself. So we've got a very fine pointy one, and then we have a more flat squared brush. And these are really nice to hold. They're kind of velvety, which I really like, hence probably why they're called Velvet Touch. And I actually love this mixed media paper by Strathmore. And I've got a fine liner graphics marker. Okay, so we've got a brush, a two, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, and a 0 0.8. So you've got a nice selection here. There we go. And I'm not being biased here because everything I've opened so far I are not my general normal art supplies. But I'm a lot more excited about the Palette Packs box so far because I feel like it's just got more in it and more stuff that I'd want to use, I guess. Can you hear the rain? Next I'm going to open the Schooler box and the Art Snacks box. And I have actually opened both of these before. And when I did in, in an older video, Scrawler Box was one that stood out to me. So um, I'm gonna see what they've got in this month. Now these boxes are $25. And if we rip that open. Ooh, oh, I love this sticker. That is a nice gradient. I'm gonna keep that one and put it somewhere cool. Oh my gosh, these look really nice. These look really, really nice. Brush pen, eco line. But I love already the like pastels. Can you see the, the pastelness? This packaging is beautiful. Like I thought it had like leaked or something, but no, it's just really beautiful packaging. Um, and these are brush pens, right? Yes, yeah, so they've got like a nice brush nib, which is very exciting. We have a, oh, what is, oh, a kneadable eraser. Then we have a Viking graphite writing pencil in HB, so just a basic. We have a Uni Pin Fine Line Water and Fade Proof. <gasps> oh, look how thin and nice, like nice that is. It's all thin. 
and fine lining. And then we have another one, and this one is a light gray. It's like a really nice pale like marker box, which I think you can make some like really pretty flowers with that. And then, ooh, look how pretty this is. If you're not learning every day, then you're not living every day. That is a pretty print. And fitting for the Skillshare sponsor today. If you're not learning every day, you're not living every day. And we've got a piece of paper here, which is, what is this? Doesn't tell you. So overall, once again, this is my third or fourth scroller box. Ridiculously impressed. Scroller box seems to be like top top notch so lastly we have our art snacks box wow this is jam-pack full we have a faber castell water brush okay i love these so this is never a waste to me because i love using like empty water brushes with um watercolor we have oh we've got some smarties and art spray oh i do not trust myself with this is it like spray paint acrylic spray small bit of paper toned paper for mixed media oh okay so we've got a black a beige and a gray piece of toned paper for mixed media so that's exciting it's like flowers i always like collecting the stickers when they're fun colors um so inside here okay we have oh we have some we have some lip balm. No, what actually is this? It does look like lip balm. Gelatos. Oh, okay. So people told me about these when I had my art crayons a while back in my art video where I tried out the art crayons. People kept saying they're like Faber-Castell gelatos. So they're like crayons, smooth crayons. I've got pistachio and red cherry. Not sure how those colors go together, except that they're complementary colors, but I will take it. And then last but not least, I got a flesh camel colored spectra marker or is it brown brown so i'm not sure what it i could make with these i've got like greens reds and a beige so maybe like a like a nature scene definitely feel that i didn't get really ripped off with any of these boxes i think they all did a fantastic job of theming everything so overall i'm gonna say that powerful packs was 100 percent my favorite i feel like i got so much inside and i definitely got my money's worth next up i would say that my favorite would be the scrawler box because for 25 dollars, i mean you know it's a well put together box they always put things together that work well together maybe it's the sticker that's that sold me so that's it thank you so incredibly much for watching this video i really hope that you enjoyed it let me know in the comments down below which art box was your favorite or which is your favorite overall if you've actually tried them um, and yes, I really, really enjoyed this. I hope that you did too. I have a very exciting art box to open very, very soon. Uh, I'm not going to say who it's by. <coughs> Jazza. <coughs> it's coming soon. I'm very excited. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.